2K is the game that I play. So I'm still, I was just in the program about an hour ago. So <laughs> I'm still live and direct, loud and proud. I'm out there. In the city, there are tons of exciting events on the horizon. Every day, you can head to League Nights to play ranked Pro-Am games. And every Friday, make your way to Club 2K to party and play while listening to new music released each week. This weekend, head to the event center for Ruffles Ridge, where you can show off your range with a four-point line. If you're a sharpshooter, I better see you out there. To recap, here's our big board of upcoming events in the city. That's all from me. I'll see you on the courts. Welcome to a brand new episode of NBA 2K TV. If you've been hooping in the neighborhood or in the wreck, you may have come across this familiar group. Oh, too strong for you! Yep, Team 2K TV is back and they've been putting in the time and they're ready to take you on. If you've watched last season, you know that anyone who comes up against us and takes that W, a 2K TV shirt is yours. Now, from what I've been told, they have improved and they wanted me to pass along this message. Don't expect any shirts this year. I don't know about that, but make sure you look out for them and check back here for highlights from our 2K TV versus the world segment coming up in a few weeks. All right, this week we're taking you through every mode in NBA 2K22 and talking about what's new. So first we are starting with my career and I am joined by the producer of my career, Ben Bishop. It's been way too long since you've been on the show. Welcome back to 2K TV. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. So I know my career is a little bit different this year. Talk about the development team's approach to my career in NBA 2K22. Yeah, this year we really wanted to take things in a different direction. Um, for quite a while now, we had been presenting you with a cinematic experience to kind of kick off your NBA career, but it had been in a fairly linear way. We just kind of brought you along through the story. And, you know, last year with the introduction of the next-gen consoles, um, we introduced the city, which was, you know, kind of a new way to experience the non-NBA part of my career. And so this year, you know, what we really wanted to do was bring all of that together. So we kind of interwove the entire my career experience into the city and let you do things the way you want and when you want to do them. And it's been cool to see people's reaction to it so far. One thing I think is also exciting too, um, I don't think I can give away a whole lot yet, but you know, we've adopted the idea of seasons in all of the modes in the game this year, including my career and in the city. So we have some really cool things planned for season two, season three and beyond. So the old favorite 2K characters, we saw some of them in, in 2K21 last year, they'll make an appearance in future seasons. So keep your eyes open and, and get ready for what, what's coming down the line too. Does seasons make you guys grind more? Cause then that means <laughs> that you have to. It does, a lot of planning goes into it ahead of time, but it does sort of continue things into what we would normally consider the off season. So it's definitely something we've had to plan for, but I think it makes so much sense moving forward. So we're ready for it. Yeah, definitely. I know 2K22 has only been out for a few weeks, but what have you seen from the 2K community in the reaction to the My Career Story in NBA 2K22? I think a couple things. I think people really like doing things kind of on their time. If you want to explore the city, go off and do some of our side quests, like, you know, races or talking to all the different people that we've, we've spread around the city. And some of it can just happen organically as you're going from one place to the other. The other thing is that people have really just enjoyed the story itself. You know, you're making important decisions that impact your career. And there are different branches that are distinctly different, really, depending on which decisions you make. Tell us more about quests, because you mentioned it, but can you talk more about specifically what quests are and how the idea for quests came about? You know, in the past you would like, for example, play a game and then we'd play a couple of cutscenes for you and it just kind of went along, you know, the way that we dictated it under the hood. Um, and now with quests, as you finish games or as you accomplish something in your career, 
you get these objectives that tell you, you know, what things are available, what you can do next, many of which have triggered based off of, you know, how things happened to you previously. And then at that point, it's really up to you. Do I want to go talk to my coach right now in the practice facility? Do I have an interview with a reporter that I need to deal with that will, you know, impact my personal brand? Or do I just want to go play games in the park? Maybe I'm, you know, excited about all the people in my affiliation and I want to show that we're the best. All of those pieces kind of come together to this sort of cool puzzle that is going to be completely different for each user. Now, if you were playing, I know it's hard to take yourself out of the game since you're the creator of that My Career Story, <laughs> but if you were playing the game as a normal user, what do you think your perfect My Career Story would be? <laughs> that, that is a tough question. Um, one of the things that I really like is we have a whole music arc. So off the court, you can decide to pursue things like music and fashion. And on the music side of things in particular, um, we brought the game in to do some, some content with us. And so you have an opportunity to work with the game. But at the beginning of that, he kind of puts you through the ringer and he you know, wants you to sort of earn his respect. And so it's up to you to decide whether you want to kind of go along with these things he's asking you to do or not. And if you do, you get some cool opportunities with him. And if you don't, you have the opportunity to, to go and record a diss track. The game is a huge <laughs> fan of NBA 2K. He was super interested. He wrote three different songs for us that are part of the storyline. And so it, it seemed like, you know, sort of the, the perfect combination. And the other thing I really like, we worked with Kendrick Perkins. And so as your story is unfolding, he's essentially reacting to it. And he definitely does not have much faith in you at the start. Let's get serious here, people. I'll be shocked if MP starts a game this year. This coach is a starstruck. He's going to make and so a big part of this is proving him wrong. And so it's, it's really fun to, as you're becoming more and more successful, having to sort of make him eat his words. I like that you guys are taking real life things because Kendrick Perkins doesn't have a lot of faith in some NBA players. Yeah. And you do have to prove him wrong on the court in the NBA and you have to do it in NBA 2K22. So we've been talking all about new gen, but what is a user's experience in my career in current gen? It's really a different experience in many ways. Um, you do still get the entire experience of working your way through college into the NBA and trying to, to sort of make a name for yourself. And then of course, the neighborhood has turned into a, a giant cruise ship called the Concha del Mar. And they have a bunch of completely unique things to that experience that, you know, it's, it's very different from the city, but a lot of the same kind of things you're, you're used to, to doing in the neighborhood in the past. We talked about quests in the city. The Concha del Mar has their own set up for quests that take you all over different places in the boat and have you do different things and earn different rewards. So fairly similar in concept, but very different things. So if you're playing one or the other, you're definitely going to have unique experiences. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us once again on 2K TV. It's been too long. We have to have you back on the show more often. Whenever you need it, I'm here. Thanks for having me. My career in NBA 2K22 is a bunch of fun, but if you're looking to explore something else this year, there is no shortage of game modes to check out and dominate. In Play Now, you can play quick matches with your favorite current, historic, or all-time teams, or take your talents online and see how many wins you can rack up. Take advantage of 2KU to sharpen your stick skills, then hit the streets in Blacktop for some fast-paced play. In my team, build your dream team of players from past, present, and future. Earn cards by winning games and completing challenges, and your squad will be stacked in no time. Each season in my team offers new and exciting rewards that you will not want to miss. Plus, the $250,000 My Team Unlimited Tournament is back with double the participants as last year. So build your team, earn rewards, and see how far your My Team can take you. If you're playing current gen and have dreamed of being an NBA general manager, then my GM and my league are for you. If you're a new gen, then check out my NBA. Play by yourself or online against friends and craft the best team possible. Do you think you can take home the elusive Larry O'Brien trophy? Well, let's see it. But maybe you want to get straight to postseason action. If that's the case, you can check out the playoffs, where you can customize an NBA playoff bracket and see how far you can go. 
And we can't forget all about the WNBA action in NBA 2K22. In current gen and new gen, you can play exhibition matches while playing as some of your favorite WNBA stars or get right to the buzz of the postseason in the WNBA's version of the playoffs. Current Gen allows you to control a WNBA team for a single season and chase a championship. But in New Gen, you can control a team for multiple seasons and build a dynasty in my WNBA. Also in New Gen is the ability to create your own WNBA My Player in the W, where you can become a legend in the league by dominating your competition. So yeah, in NBA 2K22, there's a mode for any way you want to play. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and show us what you got. Hey everyone, it's Mike Wang, Gameplay Director for NBA 2K. Welcome to another installment of Expert Tips. Today we're gonna to talk about passing and how to make you a better floor general. Let's start with the basics. When looking to pass, you can either tap the pass button and use the left stick to aim your pass, or you can hit the icon pass bumper to distribute to the teammate of your choice. There are three main passes you can make in NBA 2K22. To start, you can use the pass button to make your standard chest pass. If you're looking to get the ball past bigger defenders or trying to thread the needle to hit a cutter, try using the bounce pass button. And if you want to force the receiver to cut to the rim as you pass, press the lead to basket pass button. Now for some advanced passing. You can perform a skip pass by holding the pass button and using the left stick to target a teammate farther away. This is great for outlet passes to start a break or for hitting your teammates on the weak side. For a fake pass, press the lead pass and bounce pass buttons at the same time while standing or driving. If you want to pull off a jump pass to get over a wall of defenders, hit the shot and pass buttons at the same time. And if you want to hit your opponent with a give and go, press and hold the pass button to retain control of the passer. Use the left stick to get open and then release the pass button when you're ready to receive the ball again. This is a nice little two-man game technique for getting open looks in a hurry. If you're looking to add a little showtime to your passing game, try double tapping the pass button for a flashy pass. If you want to hit a rim running teammate for an alley-oop, double tap lead to basket pass button. You can also attempt bounce alley-oops in NBA 2K22 by pressing the pass and bounce pass buttons at the same time. And for next-gen players, we've added a skill game to finishing alley-oops. Once the alley pass is in the air, you'll see a new alley-oop finish meter. Press the shot button when the meter is full to successfully finish the alley layup or dunk. If you press the shot button too early or late, you could miss the shot or fail to catch the ball completely. <laughs> Lastly, let's go over the rolling inbounds pass. This can be useful in late game situations when you're looking to use as little time as possible advancing the ball up the court. To use it, press the lead pass button while inbounding from the baseline. Hope these tips help you move the ball better and get some easier wins. See you next time on Expert Tips. Bash World, welcome back to 2K TV. I mean, we just spoke a few days ago and you already reached level 40. Congratulations. Obviously, we are following your journey to legend. You have three more seasons to go, but give us some insight on how you did it. How did you reach level 40? I, I got out there and I went straight to it. I got straight to it from the park to the wreck. I was out there, I was making sure I, I linked up with some good players, you know what I'm saying? I was in the lobby, I would just be sending advice, like, okay, you're a point guard, I'm a center, let's go. Now you have some time to kill, so what are you gonna do in the game when you're not trying to reach that level? 2K is the game that I play, so I'm still, I was just in the program about an hour ago, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm still live and direct, loud and proud, I'm out there. And I mean, I, I listen, I done went from the park to the oh wreck, back to the pro-am. Then now when I'm done with this interview, I'm gonna go back to the park. So I'm 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 2 k would out, man. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I've been getting my drip right. It's time to focus on the drip. Yeah, I've been getting my drip right doing my quest. Can't forget about my quest because I need that zip line. I found out that you can zip line. I seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, I thought, you know, when I first saw it, but when you see it with your own eyes, you like, yo. Did I really zip line from my house to the park? Whoa, 
incredible. I'm really having fun, and that's what it's all about. Do you know anybody else that has reached level 40? Yes, yes, I got a ton of friends that uh, hit level 40, you know what I'm saying? They definitely out there, and they and they, they in the parks, they in the program, and they in the wrecking and getting it done. It's it's amazing, like seasons four, seasons they hit legend, I love it, man. It just, it gives, it gives you time to do things that you want to do. Season two coming up in a few weeks, what are you looking forward to? I got to make sure my player right. I got to make sure, because I already know everybody getting their players right. So I know season two is going to be, the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the thriller in Manila. It's, it ain't going to be uh, as easy as maybe season one. You know, everybody coming in learning, but now everybody will know. And that's when, it, you know what I mean, you're going to get a lot of competitive games, a lot, a lot of competitive games. Any message to King Jordan as he tries to reach level 40 as well? Oh, my two kid logo brother. He's a demon out there on the PG. He, he, he nothing to play with, nothing to play with. That's my brother. All right, well, thank you so much, Bashbald, for joining us once again on 2K TV as we follow your journey to legend on New Gen. Thank you, thank you. Jensen, the PA announcer for the Milwaukee Bucks, and you'll hear me call Bucks games on NBA 2K22. At forward, 6 foot 11, number 34, the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, my sons are really into it, especially my my 15 year old. He plays all the time. Out of all the things I've done in my career, this is the most excited he's been about anything. So he's really fired up about this whole thing. Cash money! I voiced the intro to our morning show every day, and there was a guy in town that liked the way I did that, and he called me up to be the PA announcer for our indoor soccer team. And then when the Bucks announcing job opened, it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Because Jack Gallo, the previous PA announcer had been there since the Bucks came to Milwaukee. There's only been two of, of us throughout the history of the Bucks. At guard, six foot three, number 21, Drew Holiday. I wanted my announcing to stand up to what uh, Jack Gallo had built that to. He had a, a way of announcing that I kind of emulate a little bit and I use some things that I heard Jack do as a kid growing up when the Bucks are climbing their way back into a game and then they hit a shot that ties it up. I stole Jack's line that is, and this game is tied. And then you say this score and the crowd usually gives you a, a nice applause for that one. That was a Jack Gallo staple. You have to bring your own personality into it. You can't be yelling the whole time because if everything is crazy and fantastic, nothing is. You know, you have to pick your spots, get excited when the fans are going to get excited, and that's the way I think you can bring the arena to another level of intensity. Bobby Portis for three! Well, I think Milwaukee Bucks fans are the greatest fans in the world, especially now with the way that uh, things are rolling with the team. You couldn't get a, a better fan base than what we've had. They've stuck with us through a dry spell, and they're here now in force. Bucks Nation is, they're strong. I love them. Get up and get loud! Here we go! Bucks win! Bucks win! We'll be back next week with some tips for dribbling in NBA 2K22. So if you need to improve those handles, check back here next Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And we're going to leave you with the top plays of the week. So get ready to vote. And here's Philly's own Matt Cord calling the shots. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody, it's Matt Cord, the voice of the Philadelphia 76ers, to announce the 2K TV Top Plays of the Week. All right, 
Up first, the Concha Del Mar players. They're making a huge splash with the X-Path Beast. Block. Fast break. And then look at this, a game-winning lob. That's a basket. Boom, in your face, that's a win. How about some one-on-one -on -one action? Super Mike J360 throws down a game winner in style. A self lob windmill. That's some clean dunk energy. Next up in the W, it's the Kevin Wright showing us all how to be creative when you got a defender in the paint. Boom! There it is, a beautiful dime. And finally, we bounce to Doscal 1124. And speaking of bounce, pro-am athletes, they always have hop. What about the ball? Are you kidding me? Maybe it's better sometimes to be lucky than it is to be good. Use those buttons. Make a choice here. Which play deserves to win this week? And hey, get your best play on 2K TV by using the hashtag 2K TV Wow on social media. Until next week, keep those top plays rolling in. Aboard the Concha Del Mar, there are a bunch of fun events coming up. This weekend, make your way to the wreck because all games played will be worth double XP. Next weekend, it's Specialty Appreciation Defenders. The cruise ship is highlighting defense by rewarding extra XP for players with defense and rebounding badge points. Last but certainly not least, leave the ship and play games on Treasure Island, where you can earn progressively higher XP multipliers by reaching a variety of goals. To recap, here's our big board of upcoming events on the Concha Del Mar.